by Dr. or Professor Christian Bonner at the Grote Skeer Hospital. Now, this past Sunday, the heart transplant team at uh, the Netcare Christian Bonner Memorial Hospital in Cape Town completed its 200th heart transplant, and this time the recipient was a 30-year-old man, Karl van der Westeisen. And yet this morning, commenting on the achievements, I must say, I am amazed and also very proud that it comes from South Africa. Cardiac surgeon Dr. Billy Kuhn is here with us this morning, and uh, one of the things we said this morning is we need to get him out of our Feel Good Breakfast show because he's got an operation that's due this morning on yeah. someone else, so he's going to do more than 200 this week. Doctor, welcome to the show. Good morning. And congratulations. And congratulations, wow. yeah. 200. Yeah, thank you very much. But you mustn't congratulate me, you must congratulate the population of South Africa because they were the ones that are donating the organs oh, for us to do these yeah. procedures. How? Yeah, go ahead. I'm totally intrigued. 200th that you celebrated on Sunday. You have been a heart surgeon for longer than 24 years. When you arrived at the Christian Barnard Hospital, what number did you operate on? Oh, I think that was about uh, number 18. Yeah, that was about number and 18. And you carried it through all the way. Till 200. With, it, with, a, with the help of a big team and, and very dedicated people, yes. And when you look at this achievement, how significant is it in the South African healthcare landscape, the fact that we were the first to do it successfully mm. and now we are notching up 200? Look, when we look back, it's, it, it's been a long and difficult road with transplantation, but uh, we can still compare with the rest of the world. You know, we d might not be able to do those numbers that they do elsewhere, although our numbers are not that little. All over the world, transplantation is not that busy. Yeah. But uh, we compare very favorable with the rest of the world. Karo van der Westeisen was the recipient on Sunday of the 200th heart. How is he doing? How old is he? Who operated on him? Well, our team did the operation. I was the surgeon. Hey, and, there you uh, are. Carl wow. is 30 years old and uh, he was just a normal person working every day and started to get tired. Later on they told him about two years ago that his heart is not pumping as it should mm. and gradually deteriorated to a point where he uh, needed to go onto our transplant list. And he was still fine for the last six months, but in the last month he had to be admitted to uh, ICU, kept in ICU, and he was on inotropes, all the drugs that you can think of. And fortunately, a, a donor, a perfect match, came on Sunday. The wow. same blood group, the same size, the same age, and we could do this uh, procedure. And Elcaro's doing very well. I'll go and see him shortly. Wow, and, and an extraordinary thing is that I understand that you were the very first uh, South African uh, doctor in 2001 to transplant a, an artificial heart yes. into uh, a 60-year-old man, and, and you, you use technology for, for, for the benefit of what you do in, in your practice. Tell us about that, that particular case. Look, that's by default. We don't have enough organs to transplant people, mm. and people are dying. We've got about 5,000 people Waiting. now that we can transplant wow. okay. that will be suitable to have a transplant, but we do less than 30 transplants a year. Wow. So those others just simply die. So we have to find other means, and the world technology is helping us, and at least these organs help us to, to bridge towards a transplantation. Okay. It's not this final solution yet but it gets us there. Yeah. Ideally, we want to treat all of this before we get to the stage where you need to operate on us, Doctor, but we've been talking about heart health on the show this whole week, and one of the, how do we keep our heart healthy so that we don't reach the point where we need to have a transplant? Look, we all know that. We know exactly what we must do. We ask these questions, but we all know we have to keep fit. We have to watch our weight. You have to be active. You have to eat your vegetables. You must do all the right things. Yeah. But uh, um, otherwise, you must go for early warning. You must go to your doctor. Let them check you out because you might just pick up something on your blood pressure or on your pulse that you don't realize and mm -hmm. that can just be managed so sooner before it becomes a big problem. Okay. Oh, fantastic. And Doctor, thank you so, so much for taking it's your valuable time to spend with us this morning and uh, tell us more about this achievement. And congratulations to you and the team. And I think it's a really big, big mark, uh, a marking point for the whole South African healthcare industry. Out we there. appreciate what you do for our people. Thank you. Oh, thank, you. thank you so much. <laughs> fantastic yeah. stuff. Doctor Kuhn now needs to go and be in theatre. Oh, All right, right stuff, now let's catch up with Graham. What's happening on your side, man?